Well, given the busy nature of the Griffin schedule these days, playing four consecutive games in overtime was probably not on the players' holiday wish list. But offsetting the toll that is taking on the players' bodies are three wins in those four games, including one this past Saturday against tonight's opponent, the Chicago Wolves. It's time for game day preview, and it's brought to you as always by Michigan First Credit Union. I'm Bob Kayser. Well, the Griffins have earned points in 10 of their last 12 games and have also picked up wins in five of their past six on the road. And boy, this past Monday, they just dominated the third best team in the American Hockey League in Des Moines, uh, but had to use overtime to get the victory against the Iowa Wild. Out of the net, beats the puck to Heronic. Heronic score on a pass. Capper to Philip Heronic. Back to back games. He's got the game winner. Well, the Czech-born Heronik might as well be known as Heronik after this uh, short two-game road trip this past weekend in which he became the first Griffin in franchise history to score back-to-back -back overtime winners. We have a two points, so it's uh, pretty good for us, and uh, we're happy for that. I think that was pretty good setup. Uh, just came past to me, and I just tried to hit the net. So the Griffins do continue a very busy schedule this week. They'll play four games and six nights when it's all said and done. Uh, and though not everybody plays in that three-on-three -three overtime format in the American Hockey League, it still does take a toll on the guys. It is a lot of extra hockey, but our division is all so tight, and I feel like it's going to be like this all year. A lot of OTs, a lot of one-goal games, and uh, it's just late nights. It's not, not much. We love playing a lot of hockey, so it's just the late nights that really hurt us. Well, should this game go to overtime tonight, that would make it five in a row, and uh, that would equal a franchise record for the most consecutive games in Griffin's history that would be decided beyond regulation time. Tonight is the fourth of eight meetings between the Griffins and the Wolves. Grand Rapids leads the series at two games to one. The Wolves boast of the league's top goal scorer in Brooks Masick, who scored 14 in his first 14 games is still stuck there having not scored in his last five games but uh, nonetheless 19 games 14 goals and as a team in fact the Wolves are third in the league in uh, average goals per game at 3.89 they are no doubt a very dangerous team offensively Griffins have points in seven of nine games here at Van Andel Arena and Hari Sateri will get the call and goal for Grand Rapids tonight while uh, again Dylan McArath will miss his eighth consecutive game due to an upper body injury but to could very well go this weekend when the Griffins host San Antonio Friday and Texas on Saturday. All right that does it for our game day preview today. Thanks for joining us everybody. This is Bob Kayser inside Van Andel Arena.